Is it recording? Hello. <laughs> um, hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. Why am I feeling so weird right now? I don't know. I feel like it's just been a while since I've sat down and said hi to you guys. I don't have a cup of tea or anything. Normally I'd be like, let's have a cuppa together. But I just kind of wanted to update you guys. It's December now, end of December, end of 2018. There's 13,000 of us. Thank you so much to everyone who's joined. I haven't kept you guys updated very well. I did start Hemba and I kind of dropped off the map because once again I failed. <laughs> and didn't finish it and um things kind of piled up and got quite busy which shouldn't have happened but it did um do you know what let's get a cuppa this is weird without a cuppa i, I, I just need a cuppa give me one sec okay i have a cuppa <laughs> now i just feel i feel more centered with a cuppa in hand um so yeah basically i haven't really been on the ball with you guys i'm sorry I'm sorry because do you know what it's because I read your comments and for some of you I know this isn't all of you but for some of you I feel like maybe maybe our internet friendship means as much to you as it does to me and it means a lot to me so I'm sorry for when I'm off the off the grid because that's not cool we're friends and I've made this commitment and so apologies I know but but to be fair in all good friendships Sometimes people are busy and it's cool. You pick up where you left off. So I hope that we can pick up where we left off. Is my bra showing? You would tell me if my bra was showing. Right. You know that I not quit my job, but kind of quit my job. So I decided not to go into foundation year two and to locum instead. If you want an update on how locum life is going, by the way, then just let me know in the comments. I told you guys that I wanted to focus on other things, but I wasn't very specific because I was scared, to be honest. I was quite scared, but I decided I should tell you guys what I'm doing because it just doesn't feel legit if I don't. So I stopped or paused my medical career, even though I'm still with working pretty much full-time as a doctor um I kind of paused my progression so I'm a senior house officer now and I will probably stay a senior house officer for the next good few years I paused it because I wanted to go back into athletics and I know that doesn't sound like a big deal and it's like Sarah we kind of figured that out or we kind of knew or that's not that deep but it it is for me it's like a huge deal for me and the reason is because when I was younger my like whole dream my my whole dream was to be an athlete. Don't get me wrong, I had other dreams too. Believe it or not, a good few years of my life I'd spent trying to be a singer and gigging and doing lots of stuff like that. But my first aspiration was to be an athlete and I really did commit to that quite a lot as a junior athlete. And I, I saw some success, I saw some decent success. Um, but then I stopped, as you will know if you watched my video, how to get back into working out. Um, and I go into quite a lot of my story there if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, I was really heartbroken when I had to kind of give up the sport at uni. And so this decision to go back into it hasn't been like a small thing. It's been quite a big thing actually, um, because I'm not going back into it half-heartedly. I'm trying to learn to be an athlete again, a, a good athlete, which kind of adds a little bit of pressure and I guess that's why I was scared to share this with you because it's kind of like, oh Sarah quit a great job in order to go chase her dreams and be an athlete, oh and guess what, she kind of sucks, <laughs> she's not as good as she used to be and that's just not only embarrassing but a little bit awkward, so I was nervous to share that with you, however, I've learnt that that doesn't matter that, oh my gosh, don't get emotional, Sarah, but more and more I feel like God is teaching me things. And in this really wonderful, weird stage of my life, I feel like I'm learning that the outcome isn't always the goal. Like the outcome isn't always the goal. So me being an international level athlete, again, is not necessarily the goal. I think that actually sometimes the goal is to be fearless enough to, to pursue the goal. And there's a quote that I made up, which I keep reminding myself of, which is that I would rather live in the light of my own failures than the shadow of someone else's fears. So fear of failure, fear of sucking, fear of not progressing when my peers are progressing and pausing everything just to go and run a few crappy times and never see any success in that field. That's not something that I can fear and actually the only thing worse than failing is being so afraid that you never try. Um, so I've kind of been trying to put that behind me. And, and, and my idea initially was to vlog all of this, to tell you guys all about my journey back into athletics. It's been emotional and it's been like, what, 
since September and it's December now. Three months? Ninth, tenth, eleventh. Yeah, three months. <laughs> it's been about three months and it's already been emotional. And, and then I got scared to like edit and upload those videos. So I was like, Dan, what if I fail? Like this is actually really hard and like I'm not the athlete I thought I would be yet. And, and what if I just fail at this? And I think that led to me subconsciously pushing you guys away, not even pushing you guys away, but not uploading as much. So I was like, I had this huge plan of how I was going to vlog my return to athletics and tell you all what I'm doing with my life. And then I was like, oh, I'm scared of failing in front of them. But I realised that that was never the point. The point wasn't to show you me winning an Olympic gold medal or me winning something. The point is to kind of share life with you guys. And I think the win is in the trying, which sounds really like almost a cop out, but I think it's just so, so true. I think that, that it's really true. And I want to share my journey with you of what I'm up to. And what I'm up to is trying to be an athlete again. So I'm slowly reprioritizing pretty much everything in my life, like all my social activities, everything around athletics, which is which is very difficult. It's really difficult, but it's something that you have to do if you want to see any kind of progress or any kind of success as a senior athlete because I'm of age now I'm a whole woman I'm 25 um so I'm not a junior athlete anymore and being casual about it wouldn't really get the got the results that I want which is just to see my own potential to see how fast I can possibly physically run and answer 11 year old Sarah's question of can I actually be a professional athlete? And so yeah, that's pretty much what my life has been revolving around. I've been working more hours than I should have been. Locum life has been interesting to say the least. Uh, and I've also been prioritizing relationships and trying to actually build a life here in Cardiff a little, a little bit rather than just being a floater and not really kind of making real good friendships. And um, so I've been prioritizing that a lot more. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that's the update for now. Thanks so much for being my internet friends and for being with me on the journey. <laughs>